to another video. Um, I just made another video. It was my favorite baits to use. You can go check that out. This one, we're going to be checking out my rod and reel arsenal. So, let me get them out. Okay, so we're back. And I'm going to show you my rods. I got quite a few. I got some. Here, let me switch the camera around. I got tons of like, just rods over here. But since, like, this stuff all around it, I don't want to get them out. But I'm going to start off with my two reels that are not on rods. I got this little, it's a real tiny Shakespeare button rod. Rod. I can't, I can't speak to this. It goes like a little rod like this. Like, I guess for Manny Bluegill or something like that. And this is my surf rod. I use this for, obviously, for surf fishing. It's a pin rod. I'm trying to find the size of it. It's a 6,000. Oh, that was bad camera angle. It's a 6,000 pin rod with 30 pound braided line on it. And over here we got my rods with the reels on them. Oh, this is my surf rod. Well, that's my surf reel over there. That was my surf reel. This is my surf rod. So this is my seven, I think it's seven foot. Um, it's called a sea striker rod. And over here, the next rod right here is a button rod, Shakespeare on it. Shakespeare button rod. That's what I use for like Senkos and brim fishing. And over here is my, this is what I use a lot. I mostly use it with my jig, with my jigs, because it's like seven foot, it's long. And on the reel, it has, I think, six pound test. I caught quite a few fish with it. Someone gave that to me. So it's a Shakespeare spinner. Over here is another button rod that I either use for Senkos or crankbaits. The Shakespeare, um, six foot. I'm pretty sure it's a Shakespeare. Huh. I don't know what the brand reel is. I don't know what the test kind of line is either. And over here is an old, it's an this is one of our first rods. It's a Zebco, old Zebco reel with a Zebco blue rod. The next rod is, I actually don't know what brand this is at all, but the reel is a pretty big reel. It's a, uh, huh. I have 15 pound test line on it. <laughs> I don't know what the wheel size is. I can't find it. Well, I don't know what the wheel size is. I will cut that part out. And, yeah, but I have 15 pound test on it. And it's, the brand is Competitor. And the rod brand, 6 foot rod, Matt Zua. Something like that. Oh. And over here, this is my favorite rod. I built this one. Well, I didn't build it, but like I put it together. It has Shimano reel on it. I have eight, six or eight pound test on it with a Shakespeare six, no. I think it's a six foot Shakespeare rod. It's neon orange. I like that color. And the last one over here, I think it's a Zebco button rod. Pretty sure, five foot. Um, oh, I think this one is also five foot. I might have said six. And this one is also five foot. But this one over here, the Zebco, it's a five foot. Yes, the real Zebco and so is the rod. And I use this as like this little like dirt bait shad thing. I just keep that on there. And yeah, that's my rod and reel arsenal of 2021. I want a bait caster to build one with like a Guggen rod and a maybe a loose reel or like an Abu, like a whole Abu Garcia combo. But it'd be cool to have like to build one with like different brand rod and different brand reel. Yeah, like I said, the Guggen and a loose. But 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you.